Welcome back to Primetime Sports. I'm Karen Nelson, and today we'll update you on some GSU basketball. The Marcus Simon set another record Wednesday night, and also there's some pros suiting up at GSU Stadium, but we'll talk more about that later. First, let's look at some of the damage from Simon versus Troy. Panthers, we've seen Simon score 27 points before, but what we haven't seen is a Panther make 589 shots for the field. Simons became Georgia State's all-time leader in career-made field goals. After hitting five three-pointers and helping GSU go on a 17-3 run, that put the game out of reach. The final score, 77-63. Coach Hunter summed it up in one word. He's playing the best basketball of his career right now. The Panthers will host South Alabama tonight at 7 p.m. in the sports arena. Georgia State also has some teams on the road. The Lady Panthers also beat Troy 85 to 70, pushing their win streak to four. GSU women's tennis head out for three straight games in three days, and softball team travels to Alabama for the weekend for the Sanford Classic. While they are preparing for the road trip, GSU will be preparing their home field for a new team. The Alliance of American Football, is, this is there in their first season. Uh, so the Atlanta Legends, uh, it's one of eight teams uh, that'll be competing in the league this year. They play a 10 game season. Um, they'll be home, their, their ha home will be here at Georgia State Stadium. Um, obviously then the, the top four teams uh, of those eight will make the playoffs. So hopefully we can see some good football um, here over the next couple of months. This is where the Atlanta Legends will be playing come February this month. I'm talking they will be here at Georgia State Stadium and you, the fans out there, can be in those seats right there to witness them take this field. The Atlanta Legends will host their first home game on February 24th at 4 p.m. Mike Holmes says although there won't be special perks for students, everyone will have the opportunity to purchase discounted tickets. The Alliance of American Football and the Atlanta Legends are renting the stadium out from us. Um, so there aren't necessarily you know, incentives for students or, or Georgia State alums and fans um, right off the bat. But I know they are doing a lot of discounted tickets. Um, I know there's a promotion where you can get, buy tickets for this first game that's coming up on uh, February 24th. Uh, for like eight or for six dollars and eighty cents. While on the field, I noticed there was something a little different about the end zone. As you can see, they have already started transforming the field for the Atlanta Legends. Holmes says this will be great for the city of Atlanta and Georgia State University because fans might want to come back to see the Panthers play football in the fall. Everybody here loves football. We see it at Georgia State football games. We see it, you know, Georgia Tech and Georgia and everywhere else. We see it with the Atlanta Falcons, obviously. So, um, you know, I think it's just another great opportunity for, for events, for students to come out to, fans to come out to, uh, as well as just see our stadium. And that's what's important for us is, is we're helping promote the stadium so that hopefully then fans come back that maybe came out to uh, an Atlanta Legends game and go, yeah, you know what, I want to come see Georgia State play when they play in the fall. Now the city of Atlanta has a brand new team to cheer for. I'll see you at the Legends game. I'm Tyreek Wynn for Panther Report News. Thank you for joining us on Primetime Sports. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube and follow us on all social media platforms at Primetime Sports with AZ. See you next Friday. Have a great weekend.